hello friend this is Mohin again from structural video and welcome to my next video tutorial series in this video i'm gonna show you how to do design of various member which is column and beam using stack pro so after analysis is done go to here click here design then click here concrete then you can see here the current code from here select your code which is by default sci318208 so i am selecting the latest code then go to here define parameter and from here you have to define some parameter so it is clb and when you select this you can see a explanation what is clb then you can see clear cover for outmost bottom reinforcement so it is point outmost bottom reinforcement is i have 1.5 means clear cover so it is should be this one 0.125 then add second one clear cover to outmost side this is also this add if you have an another value then you have to change from here click the third one clear cover to outmost of reinforcement this is also this value which is 1.5 means then this one fc which is the compressive strength of concrete which is keep per is square feet so i have 3 ksi equivalent to 4 to 5 so you have to define this and if you have a different value for column and beam then you have to define here two value but i have same i am defining this one value and then you can see yield distance of main reinforcing is still which is 8640 and that means this is 60 grade so add i have 60 grade yield distance of secondary which is also 60 grade this is 8640 add then click track beam design track one plus one by 12 this is the third one then add so these are all these are done so this this value you have to define then close and you can see here the list here then select this if you want to assign this value to all of this member then you have to go to here assign to view assign yes if you have different value for column beam then you have to define their two value then you have to assign that selecting all the specific members I have all the same that's why I am assigning this way so select the second one assign to view assign okay third one assign to view assign yes fourth one assign to view assign yes this one assign to view assign yes this one assign to view assign yes select this track assign to view assign yes so done now click here this command and click design beam add and design column and now you can see here design beam so the design beam is for beam so you have to select all the beams you can you can go to here select beam parallel to x then select beam parallel to z so all the beams are selected now assign to selected beam assign yes then design column go to here select beam parallel to y so all columns are selected now assign to selected beams assign yes okay done now you have to go to here analyze run analyze save then go to post processing or, or you have to go to here view output file done and you can check here the output file and you will see here the beam number and the design result so you will see here all the result from here you can check from here and the beam number is assigned by the start pro by default so if you want to know which one is for to one beam or which one is 41 you can see here the beam result share ports you, you will see all the result in this so this is a very weak file you can check from here and if you want to know the beam number then you have to click here shift b then you can see the beam number okay now you can also check value by double clicking on any beam then you have to go to here concrete design and you can see here the result everything is here available and if you want to check the column value then double click on column you can see our concrete design then you can see here everything the design governing value and also the reinforcement percents everything so from here you can design each column so after reviewing with this value if you think the value is not satisfactory then you have to change the member size as per your requirement so this way you perform the using start pro so this is the end of my this video tutorial series so if you like this video subscribe my channel and hope to see you in any next video